Hi, my name is William Chia. I do product marketing at GitLab. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a complete deployment environment using Google Kubernetes Engine and automatically configure your CI CD pipelines using Auto DevOps. Let's get started. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'll be using a very minimal Rails app. A link to the URL for this app is in the description of this video. You can follow along by forking the app or use your own application. Now we've got a very basic app, let's go ahead and set up a Kubernetes cluster. We're going to go to CICD and Kubernetes. Then add Kubernetes cluster. Now GitLab can connect to any Kubernetes cluster, but the easiest way to make this happen is to use our GKE integration. So we're going to click on Create on GKE to create a new cluster. Here we can create a new Google account or sign it in with our existing account. On the cluster creation page, there's only a couple required fields. First, we'll give the cluster a name. Then we'll provide the project ID. If you don't know your project ID, you can click on the link here to go over to your Google Cloud Platform console and see a list of projects or create one. In future versions of GitLab, we'll actually use the integration to go and fetch your project IDs and you'll be able to pick it from a drop-down list. We'll take the rest of the settings as default and click on Create Kubernetes Cluster. GitLab will now go and create that cluster in the background for you on Google Kubernetes Engine. This process should only take about five minutes, maybe a little bit more or a little bit less, depending on how busy the system is. When the cluster is finished being created, you'll see a success message and the blue banner will disappear. Now let's install some applications to our cluster that are going to make Auto DevOps work. We'll scroll down to the Applications section, and this will make it easy for us to install these applications with just one click. First, we're going to install Helm Tiller. Helm is somewhat of a package manager for Kubernetes. It allows you to install and manage other Kubernetes applications, while Tiller is the server-side component of that. So we're going to install Helm Tiller first, and that's what's going to allow us to install the other applications. Again, each installation should only take about a few minutes. Once Tiller is installed, you can go ahead and install Ingress, Prometheus, and GitLab Runner. Ingress allows you to route requests from outside your cluster to services that are inside of your cluster. In essence, Ingress is going to give us an IP address that's going to allow us to access our application. Prometheus is a monitoring system that's going to give us auto-monitoring. And GitLab Runner is what's going to allow us to execute our CI-CD jobs. When Ingress is finished installing, it's going to give us the IP address that's generated for our cluster. You're going to want to take this IP address and create a wildcard DS DNS entry using your DNS system. I'm going to use a free service called xip.io for this demo, but you can use this IP address with any DNS system that you're currently using. For now, I'm going to copy this IP address to my clipboard. And that's it. Our entire cluster is set up and all the applications are installed really with just a few clicks. Now, we're going to set up our CI-CD pipelines using Auto DevOps. To do this, go to the Settings menu and then CI-CD. Under the General Settings, click on Enable Auto DevOps. Then, you're going to want to add your domain. This can be any domain name that you've added in your, in your DNS system. Here, I'm going to use the IP address plus the xip.io. This is going to generate a wildcard DNS using this free service. We'll take the rest of the settings as default and scroll down to Save Changes. And that's it. Now our pipelines have been generated. We can go to the Pipelines page to take a look at what's happening. Here we can see we already have a pipeline and it's already running with just a few clicks. Let's take a look at what's happening. Here. Auto DevOps has created a pipeline with four stages, build, test, production, and performance. We can see that once the code is built, in the test phrase, it's going to have auto code quality, dependency scanning, static security application testing, 
container scanning, and it's going to run the tests before deploying that to production. Finally, once the app is in production, it's going to run some performance tests on it as well. And there you have it. In just a few minutes and with just a few clicks, we've created a fully configured deployment environment for our application with fully configured CI CD pipelines using Google Kubernetes Engine and Auto DevOps. Thanks.